how we're doing today. We are a little bit late on this subscription, but then again, this subscription always comes a little bit late in the month. I say that, it always does. It comes like the 15th through the 17th or something, but generally worth the wait. So, sorry, still caffeinating. October's Yes Oh Yes monthly subscription. This one's a little bit different from the others. It is $14.99 a month plus $3.99 shipping and handling. So it's still less than 20 bucks after everything is said and done. But you generally get five, no, it's three to five or five to seven. I can't remember. It's very comparable with BoxyCharm. Full size products, all valuing over $100 a month. Um, every month, it's a recurring subscription. Um, it's actually pretty cool, and they started out kind of on the weaker side. I think every subscription box does, and then they built themselves up, and honestly, I've been with them almost a year now, and I kind of look forward to it a little bit more than I do my boxy charm sometimes. So, let me know what you think of this month's box. We're going to get into it. We're going to try some things on our face, and I'll give you my final thoughts. If you're interested, there is a link in the description box. You can click. It'll get you a little discount off of your first month. And it puts a little bit of cash back in my pocket if you're interested. If you're not, just go to yesoyes.com. You can sign up directly there. Not a problem. This month, our theme... Da, 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 rusting Witch Face. And on the back of the card, it tells you all the products that we get and the total bag value of $116. Um, so that is amazing. So let's get into it. Let's see. The first thing we're not going to use today because I don't do my own nails. This is the NCLA nail polish in color I've been drinking. They say that this retails for $18, which is crazy to me for a nail polish. Um, but it is a pretty cool color. It is a color that I would choose for myself if I did my own nails. I don't. Sometimes my daughter does, so this might sit around my house. I, I'm not sure. So, moving on from that. The next thing I see, we have a scone small cream brush. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the package because um, sometimes I don't open all of my brushes immediately, but... I've been needing a new one of these, so mine came up missing. It's just a little synthetic, like, packer brush. Um, you know, you can pack on um, concealer or shimmer shades, things like that with this. This does say that it retails for $20, which to me is lunacy. I would never pay $20 for one brush, but we'll try it out and see if it's worth it. And we'll let you know. I'm going to go ahead and spray it off right now and kind of clean it up a little bit. Because I like to clean my brushes before I use them, and I think we're going to use this one today. Alright, moving on. This is called Mirabella Lighten Up. We have the shade Vivid Visionary Eyeshadow. I tried to help my light out a little bit, but I don't know. Y'all have to tell me if it has made it better or worse. I don't know. Okay, so this looks like maybe a loose pigment. It's a good kind of mauve pink color. Let's take this crap off of here. Um, it's not moving around though. That's I'm like, is it a dried out shadow? I don't know. Okay. Want to stay fresh? Keep me on the jar. Can you see that in there? Okay. I'm fear. fearful. What's going to happen? Oh, it's wet. It's wet. It looks like a mushy little sponge. Okay. Kind of sh- Ooh, squish. Squish. It's- it is squishy. Um, okay. It is like a cream- oh, okay. It doesn't give much color, though. Let's try this again. Okay, a couple more little dunks in there. You get a little bit better payoff. It is a shimmery- I think this would be, actually, I don't know why it says eyeshadow. This actually feels to me more like it might be a cream blush. Uh, that's honestly what it feels like. We're going to take our little brush that we got and see if it applies 
more opaquely. <laughs> Look at that. Look. You can see the texture in the shadow. Um, okay, so it does apply it, you know, but it still blends out exactly the same. So, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know that, I, number one, I don't really use cream eyeshadows. So, I don't know. Um, number two, I might use this as a cream blush. Let's try that with our little spongy sponge. I'm still using this Juno Co. sponge every once in a while. Um, I'm just dampen it a bit and then I'm just going to dab. See if we can use it for a cream blush. I already have some blush on today, but... I feel like when I'm putting it on, I smell something, but maybe that's just my setting spray. I don't know. I think, honestly, guys, I would actually like this as a cream blush instead of an eyeshadow. We're going to use it for that. Make it. We're good. All right. So the last two things we have here, we have a Styx lipstick in red. Can you even see that? Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It did come a bit mangled this month, um, but whatever. As long as it's just the package and not the product, we good. Okay. So this is what it looks like, a little mirror package. And it's a triangular shaped so sticks cosmetics sorry for the glare I, okay so this flippy and it's a very crisp burgundy red so what it looks like you turn this to turn it up and turn it down well, that's swatchy okay it's not all that opaque and it actually comes out more of a berry toned We'll try it out today. We'll see what we can do. But we're not doing eyes or mouth just yet. We're not doing it. No shit. No shit. No shit. No, no, no. Okay. The so last thing, the big thing, is this City Limits IBY Eyeshadow Palette. Let's take it out the box. Okay. I'm going to take out the trash in here. The actual carton looks the same. Ooh, all right. We got more blue and green shades. The mirror actually says you are more than beautiful, which is great. Sorry for blinding you, but I needed to show you that. And these are the shades. There are a lot of shimmers. One, two, three, four, five, six shimmer. One, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. One that's kind of a satiny. And then one, two, three, four, five mattes. Yes, I actually had to count those. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, still caffeinated. I had some errands to run today, so we're going to make a, a wearable look instead of a fun one. Although we are still rocking red lipstick today, so meh. Let's see. We're going to go into... I do like this palette. 
I do, I do. Um, I do believe I like my Desert Vibes Ivy Y palette better. Um, I just like the color scheme better. It's warmer. But these are my purples. Um, a lot of these purples are similar to some of the ones in the Norvina palette. So I'm happy with that. Now the one thing uh, we have left. Uh, let's throw in some mascara. But we don't have any on. And I'm using, I'm trying out this It Superhero Cosmetics mascara that came in my BoxyCharm. If you're interested in seeing that, I will link it there. So, I'm just going to throw this on my eyes. We're going to give it a wear test because I really haven't worn it too much. Mascara done. Now, let's get a little crazy here. We're going red lipstick. I don't think that this actually um, works too well with this look, but we're gonna try it on anyway. I'm okay. So it has. It has a super sharp tip, so I'm trying to use that to kind of line a little bit. And I just affected it. Okay. All right. I guess I could have done it that way the whole time. Kind of lined as I went. Mm. Okay. I'll tell you, it has a, a basic stick lipstick formula. No real smell. Has it transferred to my teeth? It's good. Um, it's a little berry toned. I feel like it makes my teeth look a little bit yellow. But not too bad. All in all, here we are. Let me know what you think. This is this month's. Yes, oh yes box. It's close in there. So all of this for less than $20 a month. And I don't think it's bad, y'all. Um, some of these things I would have never picked up for myself. Or this guy. But I think it works out pretty well as a cream blush. Not even gonna lie, probably should set that with the blush though that I had on earlier. So sure I don't run. Okay. There we go. Ta da! Alright, now I've got shit to do. So I'll see you in the next one. Hit one of those buttons below. Let me know what you're thinking. And catch you on the next. Bye!